Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about an email that I received from Horizon Hobby. They did send me this email and it's about the iX14 radio. So they just released this iX14. I have an iX12 and I knew that the iX14 was just a matter of time before they actually released it. There was some FCC documentation that had been leaked online and of course threads were started and this should be no secret to those who have been following along the news and keeping up with the RC type threads about radios in general. So this is an offer that they're actually putting out there. If you do pre-order before November 16th, then you could be eligible to get an exclusive iX14 hat while supplies last. Only the first 100 hats are available, meaning the first 100 people that actually go and pre-order this radio. So there is the picture of the iX14 radio and it shows us it's a 14 channel smart transmitter and I'm looking at the very first image that we see of this transmitter and the first thing I notice is that that antenna is actually sticking up. On this radio here, the antenna does not stick up. You could see that it's flush with the body. It's essentially parallel with the body here and it is fixed in this position. Spectrum is not going to go and change something if there is not an advantage there. So I would expect that there is an advantage that they see with some type of signal quality that they're able to now get based off of how people typically hold a transmitter. So moving along, we see that this next level power and connectivity, the latest in Spectrum IX series of intelligent transmitters. And they say that it offers a powerful array of features for mid to advanced level pilots who require advanced programmability and the capabilities to fly high performance RC aircraft. Here you could see the Android power touchscreen. I don't notice anything different about the touchscreen, although I do see a bunch of symbols that I'm not exactly sure what these all mean. I think this is the Spectrum Smart emblem and this is the Android Bluetooth Wi-Fi and the protocol that Spectrum uses which is DSMX. That's for all of their air radios because surface is different. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and USB connectivity. This is pretty much the same layout that the iX12 has to offer and you can see that here. It is very similar in terms of how these two radios look. I don't notice anything that is different just off of the very first time seeing those switches and dials. So hopefully, I have not heard about it, but hopefully these, these uh, sliders here on the back are actually upgraded or modified or changed in some way. That would be cool too, because I don't like the way that these feel on the iX12. So getting into the next part of it, smart technology, it looks like this is actually updated the way that you actually view the information on this smart screen and then you got the ultra smooth and precise hall effect gimbals i'm hoping that this is an actual upgrade over the ix12 for the ix14 superb ergonomics this is definitely something that the ix12 has i do love the feel of how the radio feels in your hand it feels great and i can hold it without having any sort of muscle aches or anything of that nature really. Speech to text functionality, I'd imagine this is new. I've never used anything like that with the iX12 radio. So let's go and jump right into the iX14 transmitter information here. Latest in the iX series, we saw that comfortable non-slip rubber grips, contactless, precision gimbals, adjustable stick length and travel, user adjustable configurations there for the modes, customizable switch assignments, all this stuff essentially uh, we see in the iX12, maybe with the exception of the precision gimbal sensors. I'm not exactly sure what's in the iX12. They do feel good, but it would be nice to have an upgrade to make them feel even better. Let's move along, take a look at some of the actual features of this radio. So I'm gonna get right into it here with the features that they are offering. 14 channels, obviously this is two more than the iX12 has. And I find it interesting that they're saying high performance jet aircraft to be used with high performance jet aircraft. Why only jet aircraft? Why is Spectrum marketing specifically to the jet pilot guys? If you know, let us know in the comment section below as to what you might think is going on here. Fast Android powered touchscreen interface. This is the top reason why I am purchasing the iX14 over the iX12. The iX12 for me is 
feeling more and more slow, even though it's probably not when I first purchased it. I knew it was slow, it was very slow. It was a little bit of a disappointment, but at the end of the day, I have the time to go and wait or even turn the, the radio on before I actually get to the flying field. The problem is, is I've been trying to get this radio up and running and it's actually optimizing apps. So on my cell phone, this process takes about 20 to 30 seconds to go through more than the 100 that are actually 89 that are actually on here. It goes through 200 in less than a minute on my cell phone, but on this radio, it's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes to actually get all the apps optimized so that this thing can actually turn on. So I'm not sure why this radio just takes forever to do anything. So if we go and take a look at the next features that it has here, you have full color and easy to read screen. This is definitely something you have on the iX12. Same with the smart technology out of the box. You have that on the iX12. You get the latest upgrades, the smart dashboard. That's probably what that picture was because it does not look like that on the iX12, at least when I used it. it includes the latest, oh, we just went through that, superb ergonomics and we talked about that. We talked about the gimbals, we talked about the speech to text functionality that is new as far as I understand it to the iX14. And then the next one here, this is something I definitely like. I'm not a fan of the old style USB ports. I like the USB-C. It's very clean. You don't have a problem with which orientation to actually place the connector in there. Whether you put it in zero degrees or 180 degrees, they both work. The big thing here is that the battery is gonna be upgraded. So the the iX12, if I open up the battery door, this is a 6,000 milliamp hour 1S lithium battery pack. And the iX14 is gonna be a 10,500 milliamp hour 1S lithium ion. Even if the iX14 has a higher performance CPU within it, I still expect to see more runtime out of this specific transmitter because of the battery capacity increasing by 4,500 milliamp hour. That's quite a big jump. And then what they say here is that the battery with the included magnetic USB cable and magnetic USB-C adapter. So I'm not a big fan of magnetic cables. I don't think it's necessary. It's not often that I actually have the cable in, a, in an area where I can trip over it. Usually it's gonna be on a bench or on a, on a table and I'm not going anywhere near there to charge the actual uh, radio up. So I'm not certain of the magnetic capabilities if they're adding costs where it may not be necessary, but either way, it's there. 250 model memory, this is huge. I don't know who has 250 models. There's probably someone out there, but I'm not, in a, I'm not gonna be anywhere near there. Programming for airplanes, helicopters, sailplanes, and multi-rotors. This is something that's already in the iX12, so it's not gonna be an advantage from the iX12 to the iX14. So then they go into the overview of it. Spectrum developed the iX series of uh, smart ready transmitters for pilots seeking powerful functionality along with next level connectivity. The 12 channel iX12 came first and then the iX20 is their flagship. That is their most advanced and powerful radio. Problem with that radio is it's extremely expensive and I think it's well over $2,500 Canadian. And in that price point level, you can get into Powerbox or you can get into Jetty even for less than that. So it really starts to compete with the highest end transmitters that have excellent reputations there for reliability and just general reliability really. And then they say the iX14 now joins the series as the perfect intelligent transmitter for intermediate to advanced level pilots who fly mid to high end performance radio control aircraft, including, here we are again, EDF jets and giant scale turbine jets. Why are they marketing to the jet guys? Don't know. Is this why I'm purchasing the transmitter? Because I'm a jet guy. I feel like I need to have the iX14. I don't know. Didn't know they were going to do this. Already wanted the radio. Probably not. So it offers the 14 channel, includes many of the latest spectrum advances in connectivity, programmability, and ergonomics. With its fast Android interfaces, smart technology compatibility, precision hall effect gimbals, and more, the iX14 continues the Spectrum's brand commitment to innovation and reinforces its position at the cutting edge of aircraft radio technology. I do believe that they are at the cutting edge of aircraft radio technology. Not many companies out there are trying to integrate an Android interface, an operating system, 
with their radio. And I think that is where they do stand out. And I do believe that the Android system is common. It's very well known to many of us who use cell phones. Even if you're not using Android and you're using Apple's version, you know how those types of cell phones, tablets work. And it's very easy to go and adjust settings and update and program things because it all seems to be right in front of your face accessible with just the slightest touch and then you can get to all of those options as opposed to trying to scroll through a window as our old DX style radios one. So we get into a bunch of images where it talks a little bit more about the features there, the Android powered touchscreen, the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and USB connectivity. I won't go over any of that. We kind of covered most of that speech to text functionality. This is definitely something that's new. We covered that as well. I don't think there's anything else to show here on there. So now what I do want to show is this finally ended up getting through and optimizing all the apps after whatever it was deciding to do here at this moment. Now I'm actually waiting for this to turn on and boot up. So I'm expecting this to actually talk about it. I think we just skipped over that. There it is. So it cold boots. So this is essentially what I've done. I'm actually cold booting this radio. And I believe this cold boot is more than the 90 seconds that they're advertising that the iX14 will actually do it in. And they're saying that the wakes up from sleep in 10 seconds or less. So this is pretty good. Sometimes from sleep, it's almost instant that this thing will wake up and you can use it. However, I do notice that the Android does seem to lag for probably a good 10 seconds before you actually get the callouts that you're going to expect to receive from the iX12. So this is, again, the reason why I am purchasing the iX14 is because of the, the actual Android performance. I want a faster performing CPU that can actually get through the functionality quicker and allow me to access screens quicker without actually lagging out on me. So it looks like I'm not actually gonna be able to show you with this radio because it's still booting up through the entire course of this video as I'm recording it. However, I'll show a picture up here right now. This is why the iX14 is so important of an announcement. There are a lot of iX12 users who see this message weekly or even daily every time they start up the radio and after several years, it starts to get frustrating. Hopefully the iX14 is the cure. That's what a lot of us are going to be betting on. And this picture represents essentially that this radio does tend to not respond. You know, when your wife is asking you to do something, you're sitting on the couch, you're watching TV and you're kind of just like fixated on that TV, not responding. Well, that's what this radio does all the time. You want to do something with it and it just gives you a message not responding. That's the big reason from my point of view. Let me know in the comment section below if you intend on looking at the iX14 as a purchase for yourself sometime in the future or not. Is it just a big waste of money and you'll keep the iX12 or are you using another radio and you're going to stick with that? Let me know in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed this video and as always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so I can see all you guys in that next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.